How to use AnyDEX Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be walking you through how to use AnyDEX. AnyDEX is a software that allows users to remotely access or control other devices. So let's say for example you offer tech support to a company and you are not able to go in person but you would need access to their laptop or PC or Mac. All they'll need to do is simply download AnyDEX on that device and from there I'll be showing you how to use it. AnyDEX can be used for completely free as all you'll need to do is tap on download now. But if you want to use it on numerous devices, I would recommend that you check out the business plan and see if that is for you. But for now on, all you'll need to do is tap on download now. After you have tapped on download now, you are going to simply open it and run it. After you have done that, you will be led to this page right here. Once you have downloaded the software, you will be led to this page on which you will be given an address as you can see right here. Now, the other device that you will need to connect to, you will need to also download the AnyDEX software. Once you have downloaded and installed the AnyDEX software, you will also see an address. Now to connect both devices, all you'll need to do is tap on invite. Once you have tapped on invite, you're going to enter the address that you see on the other device. Let me do that real quick. So you'll simply enter the address right there. And then below it, you will see profile. You're going to tap on that. And by tapping on this, you can see the different permissions that you'll be granted. So for example, you can see if you were to select default, you would be able to hear their device and you can also see right there, you'll be able to control your device keyboard and mouse, lock your device keyboard and mouse and so on. If you would like to offer screen sharing, you can see the features right here. You could tick each box that you want. If you would like to offer full access, you can see it right here. They'll be able to hear your device sound and output and they'll be able to control your device mouse and keyboard as you can see right there. Also, if you would like unattended access, you can see the different features that are available. But for this example, let's say I want to offer screen sharing. So I'm going to tap on screen sharing, then I'm going to tap on invite. Once you have done that, the other device, as you can see right here, it will pop up and all they will need to do is simply tap on connect. Once they have tapped on connect, as you can see right here, you can see it is connecting now. And by the way, the screen that you see connecting here is an example on another laptop that I'm doing right here. So remember, I had granted this laptop permission to share my screen. So that's the only permission they have at the moment, as you can see right here. But anything that I do on this screen will show up on the other screen. So let's say, for example, I were to minimize any decks. You can see right here, they are now seeing my Google dashboard, as you can see right here. And if I were to search for anything or so on, it will show up on the other laptop. But if I would like to grant them even more access, all I would have to do is go into AnyDEX, as you can see right here. You will simply tap on the AnyDEX software and you can see how long you have been connected and you can also see when the session started. If you would like to grant them more permission, right below profile, you are going to tap right where you see screen sharing. Then from there, you could select full access if you would like to grant that per person more permission to your device or you can select screen sharing and then you could select the permissions that you would like to allow them to have. For example, they'll be able to use it, the file manager. You could allow them to hear your device output and so on as you can see right there. And also you can go down and again you could grant them full access and so on. Also, if you would like to use the file manager or to transfer files, you can do that. All you'll need to do right where you see screen sharing or you could grant them full access. You could go on to screen sharing. So you could tap on screen sharing. Then from there, you could scroll down and right where you see use the file manager. 
you could tick that right there so once you have ticked that, the person now will have access to file manager as you can see right there. So if they want to have access or if they want to access your file manager, they can do that. All they'll need to do as you can see right there is tap on file manager and they'll be able to access your file manager as you can see right here. Now there are numerous features that you can use as I've shown you and you can see the file transfer section right here. Also, if you would like to use the chat to send a message, you can do that by tapping on chat. And from here, I could type in hello. Then I could tap on send. And you can see that the message has been sent right there. And then this person right here could send me a message if they want on the other device, as you can see right here. Now, once you are finished and you have done what you want to do on the other device, all you'll need to do now Right where you see disconnect, you could tap right there. After you have tapped on disconnect on the other screen, you will see session close and you could tap on OK. Once you have closed out of it, as you can see right here, all you will need to do is tap on the X. Do you like any decks? Would you like to install any decks now? I'll tap on no right there. And you can see how the platform looks right now. So for example, you can see it shows the recent session as you can see right there. And again, all you need is your address as you can see there and you'll need to install Anydex. Also, if you would like to discover other Anydex clients remotely on a local network, all you'll have to do is tap on enable now as you can see right there. Then it will pop up under discovered and you can also see the invitations and you can also see your favorites. So I could tap on the start to add this as a favorite. Or if I would like to remove the history, all you have to do is tap on the four dots. And then from there, you will see the option to remove selected. Or if I wanted to add it to favorite, I could add it to favorite right there. Or if I want to connect again, all I would have to do is tap on connect. Because since we have invited them already and we were connected once, I don't need to invite them again. All I would need to do is tap on connect. Or if you would like to browse files, all you would have to do is tap on browse files. And you can see right there, it is connecting. And you can see that it has open right here. So all I would have to do is tap right where you see access. Accept better yet. And you can see right there. I'm now in the files for, or better yet, I'm now in the files manager for the other device as you can see right here. So that is it. It grants you numerous features. And again, you can do all of this for completely free. That's the beauty about it. So if I would like to access anything on the other device, all I have to do is simply tap on it. So that's it. It does make it easier to work remotely as you can see right here. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.